Yes. <laughs> Once again, ladies and gentlemen, we're bringing some action here from Edinburgh again. Thanks to Cats TV 17. And it's KATS Channel 17. And also, of course, Maddie said, Dr. Tom, new show that going on. This special one, so I got some of this I saw you talking to her, don't you? And Gabriela right. Gabri Gabri Solis, uh, she the, the go team for, for the Sabercats. You know what, Mia? A little shout out from your grandma. As we start the and she's coming to tell you that she guarantees you. Grandpa is watching. Grandpa enjoyed it. So once again, a little shout out to your grandma. Uh, Solis from your grandma. And of course, Grandpa watching from up there. Here we go. Take us on the kickoff pole. Jose Escanero uh, kicking it off. It's kind of a short way for I hope he didn't get that knee down. He's trying to get to the outside. He just needs to break one block. He does. He just gets, ooh. He almost broke that for a long one. That's a great effort. Way to go all the way across the field. Eli, Elija Reina. Good job for you, young man. All the way down to the 28 yard line. So talk about field position, Paul. 28 yard line, not bad. Uh, it's not bad. It's, I think average field position for high school starting out right around the 30. So it's it's average. A little shout out to going to Brianna Estrada. That's from your dad, Robert Estrada. And Dora, Dora Estrada again from your parents. Uh, Brianna, good job. Keep up the good work. Keep the tuning and the drill team. Here we go. It's going to be first and ten for the Sabercats. First time they touch the ball in the third quarter. And they'll be going from the north to the south from their own 28-yard line. First and ten. You can see on the screen, quarterback to the shotgun. For, he's like he's going across the formation. He's going to, in fact, give it to his fullback. He's got some room up the middle. Nifty little run. Another good run by Gennaro Cavazos. A great tackle. He's got to get credit. Good tackle of Rick Gutierrez of uh, the Huskies over there. A pick up of seven yards. Bring up a second and third coming up for the Sabercats. If you make them adjustments, you better make them quick. And it seems to me that after the first play, Sabercats have made their adjustments. Donut, I'm glad you mentioned that. This is a battle of adjustments with a close game like this. We're going to find out which coaching staff has the mustard right now in the second half, Donut. That's just the bottom line. We're going to figure it out right now. All right, another dive up there. All they need is two, and they may have got two and a half. <laughs> Here we go, waiting for the call. They call the timeout. That means only one thing. We have no flag on the field. All we're going to say is move those chains, Gennaro Cavazos. And Paul, with, what, with, the, with that call, I'm going to send a little shout out going on to Misael de Leon. That is Misael. That is your call, and we're going to continue doing it all year long. So once again, a little shout out going out to all the people at the Avila family, at the Avila house. Everybody, thank you for tuning in to RiceCentral.com, and I hope you're enjoying the game because we got a good one. It is 11-15 and counting left in the third quarter. It is still Huskies 3, Sabercat 0. All right, Edgar Lopez at the command. He's asking for the ball. It's going to be a run. He's going to give it to Gennaro once again. He's got a little bit of room. That's just that's good on good, don't it? Good, strong run. Uh, in other words, uh, just a great job on defense as well. Okay, Paul, we're going to give a little shout-out going out here, and I hope I can get it through with uh, let me put on the glasses. So, Paul, take us to the next play, and I'm going to get us ready for a shout-out. While you take us to the next play, it's going to be second and nine coming up for the Sabercats. Paul. Yes, sir. Good little nifty run by Gennaro Cabal. So, you know, good job to get. Looks like one and a half. Uh, that was good on good. In other words, the defense was prepared, and he ran hard as well. Looks like Sabercats have two receivers to the right and one to the left. He's shifting over his fullback, as you can see. Probably asking for protection on that side. Uh, looks like it's probably going to be a pass. Here we go. It's going to be a run. He's giving it to his fullback up the middle. Hanging on to the ball with both hands, don't it? Very smart. Yeah, good, good camera work with there, right there. You saw the man holding on to the ball, making sure that ball goes nowhere. So it's a short pickup of maybe one yard. Call it a third and seven coming out for the same chance. The shout out is going out to Mr. Garza. Mr. Garza, I know who you are because you know who it's coming from. From the Villanuevas. From the Villanuevas coming out from the kids at Flores Zapata. And their, their parents, again, the Beamers. We call them the Beamers when they pick them up, Paul. They yes. come up in a BMW. Oh, so must be nice, Beamer, brother. let's go. It's time for Beamers. you. Beamers. So to Mr. Garza from the Villanuevas, a uh, little shout-out going out to you. Here we go, Paul. Third and eight coming up for the Sabercats. They got two receivers left, two receivers to the right. They're bringing them across the formation. There's, there, you know that they're going to stop the play. You know what that means, don't it? It's going to be on the offense. They almost gave it to Johnny Davila. He was about to run out the gate, but uh, offensive penalty means they're going to. In other words, they, the reason they stopped the play, ladies and gentlemen, is because you cannot, the offense cannot gain such an advantage as to move before the ball is snapped. So that's why they call, and they call the play dead. Take it back another five yards, call it third and 13. More shout-outs coming out, Paul. We got people tuning in. No shout-out going out to RJ. RJ, thanks for tuning in. Hope you're enjoying the game. We got a good one, RJ. RJ in the also, house. Also going out to... Uh, the, the lunch crew, the lunch crew, my lunch crew, we the lunch. Oh, they always I'll, do I'll, job. I'll get to that one back right now. Here we go. We're going to go third and 13 coming up. Here we go. Twins left, twins right. Motion across the field, which gave, makes it three receivers to the right for the Sabercats. He's got a man open. If he can throw it, he's going to decide to keep it. He tucks it and runs. 
he just did that the best he could. That's probably a good decision, don't it? Because he ended up getting about four and a half, maybe five yards. Oh, picked up nine yards. Remember, we were five yards back, so at those five, it's going to be a pickup of nine yards. Oh, They're yes. They're still going to fall short again, ladies and gentlemen. That third and manageable makes a big difference when you're at third and 13 instead of third and eight that was coming up. So it's a fourth and four. And ladies and gentlemen, uh, we're going to decide whether they're going to go for it or not. We'll wait and see what's going to happen. The shout out is going out to the, the crew I eat lunch with. Again, special shout out going out to all the, the crew that eat lunch with me at the lounge. Brittany, we missed you today. There we go. They're going for it. Looks like they may be doing a hard count. Not sure. They're changing the play up. Here we go. Here we go. The ball is up. They're going to run it. He had some room outside. He needed to get more than that, don't he? He turned in the side. It was just too many, too many white shirts. Yeah, and look at the husky coaching staff. All, all, all the way down the line, Mark. They're excited. They held them on four down. Paul. Yes, sir. How many times have we gone for that? That makes more time. We've gone for it on four down. I believe we're not mistaken. It's two from them and two from us. So they picked up only one first down. That's all they managed to do after that. They went four down to now. So now, for the first time, the Huskies are touching the ball, and they only need 40, 48 yards to go. It's a battle. It's a battle of adjustment at this point. It looks like the Huskies adjusted properly because they stopped the cold in their first drive. It's going to be a dive up the middle. He's going to give it to the fullback. He jukes and jives and gets himself a few yards. And a little run by Martin Diaz. Good job. I'll pick up a two and a half yards. Call it a second and six coming up, and we got more shout-outs coming out. We get some more texts. Once again, a little shout out uh, going out once again for Zapata. Yes, we did it. A little shout out going out to all the staff, all the people that eat lunch with me. They said they're going to be tuning seven, in. So going out to all of y'all, Ms. Garcia, Mr. Alaniz, and Brittany, we missed you today. Saber catch, two receivers left to the right. You see the Saber catch staring at the staring at the waters over there. He's asking for the ball. It's going to be a pass. He's rolling out to the right. He's got time. He's going to keep it. He's going to throw. Looks like he's going to keep it, tucking to go. He probably got maybe a yard. Don't I need to give a quick little shout out. Go ahead. You got it, Paul. Uh, Dolly is out there listening to DollyCenter.com. Dolly, stay strong. A uh, very special lady of mine out there. You know we are stronger together. So let's stay together and stay strong, Dolly. I'll always have your back. Hey, Dolly. Got a good man there. And again, Thank you, sir. Again, take care of yourselves and everything's going to be fine, Dolly. A little shout out going out to you from Donut. We'll see you Saturday. Yeah, that's right. A little barbecue at Donuts. Con la familia. Head out there. Ooh, that's good by us. Nobody, nobody. There's no barbecue anywhere. Sorry. <laughs> Here we go. We got a 36 coming up. For the Huskies, they're at the 44-yard line. Quick huddle. We got three receivers right. One to the two, one to the left. If you're the Sabre Cats, they're going to blitz up the middle. He's got time. He has a man open, but he may not be able to throw it because they're going to blitz him. He's scrambling. He is going to break for a few yards. He gets outside. Nifty little effort. I'll tell you what, Donut. Well, that was tremendous credit by uh, Edward Garcia. Good job to you, young man. He needed, I believe, seven. He got six. Down by Here we go. Five. Another fourth down. down coming up. Marlo, oh. another Husky fourth down. down. Are they taking a play right out of the Jaguars? Is everybody in hey, the Jaguars go for it all the time. Let's go for it too. Actually, there's a little bit more to it, don't it? But uh, it each team is different. Is it the uh, 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 the, the park? The field? This is metric. What do you call it? Matrix. Matrix. Matrix field. turf. Yeah, matrix turf that uh, coach. Uh, uh, yeah, it moves, it moves, it moves, it moves faster run. than you can see. Yeah, yeah right. That's, no, that's, that's a movie. And you know what's the best thing? I can do with the game here with 9 and 1. That is from the Edwards. And the field looks pristine. Great job to who, the powers to be to choose such a type of turf. Uh, good job to the board to uh, find the fund and to get this done. Great job. Looks like they're going on a time. Looks like they're going to a timeout, don't it? I uh, want to talk about the play a little bit. Looks like uh, when Watt is Lincoln right there on the last uh, uh, few plays, what they did, don't it? It looks to me like they're they're, they're stunning the their defense Bobcat. alignment in. In other words, they're they're taking you, care of an area Bobcat that is to the right and the left of the center. Union. In other words, they're saying so if you're going to gain some yards, go outside because you're not going to go inside anymore. And so you know it's a constant right, chess match. Looks like Wadi Lincoln has made some tremendous adjustments. Right, a little shout out going out for sure once again. I think they missed it, Bob, but I'm going to make sure we do it again. Hello to my wife, Ida. I love you. Oh, he did give you a shout out. Do it again, babe. A little shout out going out to my wife and of course my kids. Kyra and Kayla, enjoy the game. They're tuning in, and thanks for tuning in, babe. Great job by Cast TV, zooming in on the formation, looking back. Looks like Wada's going to punt. They should pin him back. If they're able to punt it, he does punt it. They're not, they are not. don't have anyone back there returning. They're hoping for a good hop. Oh, it takes a Juarez hop. Ooh, that's unfortunate for Vela. The reason they had nobody back there, ladies and gentlemen, is they were expecting the ball to go in the end zone. 
and it took a very favorable hop for the Huskies. So, you know what, the ball, it is what it is. It's not a perfectly round, don't it? It makes bounce back for it. You never know. Hey, but let me tell you what, Paul. They had 48 yards to go only, and they didn't get any. So, again, they didn't get a first down. Uh, Bob, uh, I'm sorry there. Saber Cat defense. Yes, sir. Came out big. So, you know what? All they needed 94 yards. Yes, yeah, not good field. Great job by Juarez to pin them back. Uh, of course, the field position advantage is to Juarez at this time. Great job by the Sabre Cats to stop him. Here we go. Second time they're going to touch the ball. They picked up one first down only on the first time. Here's, here's, we'll see what happens on the second time. We're under seven minutes and a half Hus left. Husky's going to cover three. It won't matter because they're running up the gut. And, and of course, the reason I'm bringing up the uh, coverage, ladies and gentlemen, cover three means three safeties back there, which means the strong safety is up. In other words, there's one more person in the box really to stop the run. So that's what I'm mentioning, ladies and gentlemen. In other words, when I say cover three, really what I'm trying to tell you is they are they are basically preparing for the run. Second and two coming up, a pickup of eight yards. Great pickup there. It is second and two from the 14-yard line. Cover man, a uh, man-to-man up the top. If they can throw it, they're going to run. He's got plenty of room. He gets outside. He's on the 30, the 40. The 50, he's got one man to beat. He cuts back to the middle. He could be gone. The 20, 15, 10, 5, touchdown, touchdown Sabercats! A run of 91 yards for the Sabercats. Put six points on the board. Janeiro Cavazos. Is he over 100 yards? <laughs> Donut. You 91 there. Yeah, I'm going to call that over 100 yards, don't it? Uh, all right. For the night. I was calling that before the half ball. That's why I was I know playing. what you meant. You probably meant, look, midway in the third quarter, there's going to be something. I know what you meant. I know. You just got your quarters wrong. No big deal. So quickly, uh, this, they, they ran uh, four plays, didn't get nothing, not even a, uh, one first down in the first time. I'm sorry. They went six plays, and they ended up losing the ball on downs. They come back on two plays, ladies and gentlemen. They go 94 yards, 94. 94 yards is correct. They picked up three, and then they picked up 91. And you know, Donut, I, I got to say that the Sabercats out formation, what you saw early in the game was uh, the Huskies viewing that quick little pass into the flats. They're out formationing the Vela by, by a certain alignment. And what the Vela did right there was they overloaded on one side, and they created a man-to-man -to, -man to the top. I mean, there was just one defensive back. All you got to do is break, between, uh, break through the defensive line, and you're gone. Great job by Bella to recognize that. Great job by Coach Salinas to call that play. It worked. They went 94 yards. They didn't pick up a first down. <laughs> Donut. We didn't even move Donut. the chains. Would you rather have 10 first downs or a touchdown? All right. I then, think we know, brother. All right. Well, there's something going on in the field. We're going to wait for the call. Here comes the ref. They're discussing something. I don't know what it is they're discussing. Uh, it, it, I mean, it seems to me that something is going to have to be discussed as far as we have no flags on the field. But again, uh, we've had some plays that have been stopped, some have been run, and again, these refs, and again, you know, Paul, yes, sir. We, we talk about this. We talk about these kids, the coaches, everybody gets to see this live. How good is it going to be for these refs to see this game? Li uh, go home and, and get to see what, what happened yeah. on the field. Because yeah, you know it. what? Cats TV, that is K-A-T-S, Channel 17, give you some great footage and great action shots on, so they can see where we're lying wrong, where we're at the wrong spot. Or what happened so again not only are the kids the parents the relatives people anywhere in the world getting something out of this our refs are, and if i were a ref i wouldn't mind seeing whether i did right or wrong i wouldn't mind here comes the, uh, the play all right looks like a little delay of game delay of game looks like uh what is it going to elect to move him back on the kickoff and you're right don't and i heard the referee telling you Wow, we're gonna after the game. We're gonna watch this on ValleyCentral.com. We're gonna watch the replay. Yeah. And you're right, basically like a game tape. Yeah. yeah. Which, I mean, hey, do we give it to you free at home? Get home and do it. And that's what they're gonna do. That's what he said they were gonna do. Here we go. Snap it up. It's a good snap. It's a very good hold. Excellent kick down the pipe. The referees are raising their arms up, and you know what that means, don't it? That it is good. good. So with 646 left in the third quarter, the SaberCats after touching the ball twice pick up one first down on the first touch. On the second touch. They don't pick up any first down, but ladies and gentlemen, they go on a 91-yard run. There is the replay. He made the cutback, and he was Woo, gone. 91 job, yards. Cats TV. There for the Saber Cats. So quickly, they take a seven. There it is, ladies and gentlemen. There it is. College ball. That's right. I was going to say on the replay. Great job, Cats TV. You can see that all he had to do is get Cut one back. one black on that defensive back. All he has to do is break through the defensive line, and he is gone. Great job, Devella. By alignment, what they did was they forced. They forced the Huskies into be man-to-man -man at the top, which means only one secondary guy, just one guy, 
get a block on him and you're gone. And it worked. So it's going to be the second time the Huskies touch the ball. And, and Paul, right now, so far, and I'm going to call a little tennis player. Great job, replay. I'm going to call advantage Sabercats. Yes, sir. Uh, the adjustment. Yes, sir. It definitely. Certainly the score will dictate what's going on. Seven to three. And look at that replay once again. All you, again, all you have to do is break through that first first line of defense, and he's gone. Great job. Look at, it, look at this replay by Cash TV, don't it? Do they do a great job <laughs> great or job. what? Yeah, We're going to go with option one. Great job. A great job. And again, I'm going to give it a little, little advantage. Yes, sir. Momentum. You pin them down to the six-yard line. You held them on, the, on a fourth down play. Yes, momentum on, on the Huskies. And quickly, the momentum has shifted. I'm going to give you I'm going to give you some even bigger words. I like you. Psychological advantage. What did you just call me? <laughs> Silly, Here we go. We got 646 left in the third. So for right now, oh, ladies man. and gentlemen, it is 646 left in the third. And here's the kickoff from the north to the south side. Kick is up. He feels it out of bounds. He probably shouldn't let it go out of bounds. But what do we know? It is up in the booth. Good job. <laughs> he got it out of bounds, going out of bounds. I don't know what he was trying to do. I don't know. The, I think he's calling it out of bounds. So yes, it because he caught it. The ball was out of bounds. He was also out of bounds. So yeah. can he come back and touch the ball first? No, sir. But what happened was he, he caught the ball out of bounds. And so, in other words, the ball was never received in bounds. So that's like an out of bounds kick. Is it? It should be. Well, they're maybe. looking there right now. They're thinking about it. What's your call, Donut? You're yeah. killing me, man. Here we go. We're gonna, I, I'm calling. If he had, he's saying he had one, oh, one leg in, one, one leg, leg in, out. One leg out. Okay, you cannot do that. But, oh, we had offsides on us. Oh, my God. Well, I don't know what they're doing, but the, see? He's trying to tell the coach. Now I don't want to. I don't have enough time to go over listeners. I'll tell you that's a that's a rule. In the, that's a rule. Five yards. They're gonna give him five yards from where he caught it. So no say, brother. Here we go. We're gonna call it a first and ten for the Huskies. They're at the 33 yard line, and believe me, these officials are gonna see the game. Yes, sir. Looks like Bella staring at two receiver to the left. All right. He's a uh, quarterback under center. He's got the ball. It's going to be a sweep to the right. He has some blockers. If he gets outside, and he does, he's going to go run for a first down. That's a great block, don't it? We're going to see where they're going to spot him. Is he going to spot him? Yes, he is. So one more time for the first time in the second half for the Huskies. Let's move those, those chains. chains. Ladies and gentlemen, we're going to move the chain real quickly. So with under 639 left, they're going to stop the clock. 639 left in the third quarter. Quickly, the Huskies answer back. Uh, by picking up a first down on the second time they touch the ball, we're going to give them their first first down of the second half. It is going to be first and 10. Ball is being spotted at the 43-yard line, and we have a timeout on the field. And uh, I think it's being called from on the wait up. We have an official timeout. He hasn't, he hasn't pointed to any one side of the field. We'll wait and see what they're going to do here. But uh, And, Paul, and just, by, just by the reaction of the ref, Yes, sir. And my reaction, it's going to be a warning to the to the coaching side, and, and the ref can only take so much. And again, on which side, on it? On, on the far side of the okay, field. Okay, and I'll tell you what happened. What happened was that the tailback, uh, Martin Diaz, he felt that he had already been out of bounds, and he felt he had his helmet ripped off. You could see him complain, and the coaches reacted. The coaches wanted a call. You know how it goes on the sideline. Yeah. The coaches wanted a call, and they didn't get it. So what you had was basically the coaches got themselves a little too far out on the field trying to work for the call, and the referees have to keep it under control. If they, you know, like I tell my players, but coach, he was holding. Did they throw a flag? Okay, no, then there was no holding, okay? <laughs> and that's as a coach, that's what you better do. That's correct. If not, it's only going to get you in trouble. We're going to do a shout out going out to Brittany, to Yvonne, to Ruby, to all them listening in, uh, tuning in. They want me to hurry up. Oh, my God. Okay, little shout out going out <laughs> to you three. Hope you all are enjoying the game. Stay safe, and we'll see you tomorrow. It's going to be a flag against the coaches. I'm calling it against the coaches. Yes, and it is. Again, they're, they're getting onto the field. They're, 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 the referee tells you, get behind me. Well, I want to run down the sideline, and I don't need you in my in my, in my my way. And apparently it's a 15-yarder, Paul. Donut, you know, that's great. Coming from a, a referee, a former head referee, that's the best That's the best description you can give. It's not that they don't necessarily want players or coaches on the field. They're excited. But you need to clear the sidelines. The referees run up and the sideline judges. Let me do my job. Down, yes, Let runs up and down do the sideline. You cannot be tripped, getting tripped by coaches and players. And so they give them a penalty. Yeah, 15 yards. So instead of it being first and 10 from the 43-yard line, guess what, ladies and gentlemen? It is first and, and Brewster. <laughs> first and Brewster. First and 25 coming up. we got to shut up. Brewster Longhorns in the house. Great job Tuesday defeating the Memorial Wildcats 25-23. Or 
22. Here we go. Yeah, snap it up. It's going to be a sweep to the right. Nothing doing. Oh, he broke a tackle. Nothing but tremendous effort. Great job by the fullback, Joe Rodriguez. Guess what we just got, Paul? Yes, sir. A little shout-out going out to Donut. Let me tell you what, Donut. I want you to announce that the school board is watching the game live from with ValleyCenter.com and, of course, Cash TV in Dallas, Texas. All the board is preparing for the state conference. The board of directors go Sabercats. So once again, to the ECID school board, enjoy it and keep up the good work. Keep Continue to keep up the good work, uh, ladies and gentlemen. Y'all do a great job for the school, for the kids, for the town, for the city. He's got a man open. He overthrew him. He was covered, don't it? That was, that was bracket coverage, how it worked out. But the other corner was able, the safety was able to come across and help out the corner. They had him covered on top and underneath. All right, and again, Dr. Gutierrez, I was wondering how come I couldn't find you at that time. But once again, that came from Dr. Rene Gutierrez, our superintendent for the ECISD. Keep up the good work, sir, and uh, thanks for tuning in. Thanks for letting us know that you like what we're doing. And believe me, your, your support means a lot to me and Paul Osbury. So once again, shout out going out to all the board at the board conference in Dallas, Texas. And believe me, ladies and gentlemen, they're not missing the game. They're watching it live and hearing it live with ValleyCenter.com and Cats TV 17. Looks like a screen, but it looks like the Sabercats read that all the way. The quarterback gave it away too easy. What happened there, the quarterback basically runs backwards. Like, oh my gosh, here you come. What am I going to do? And the defensive line advances. But it was it was just it was too, it was he overacted, don't it? Yeah. He overacted. Any team that's well taught said, oh, wait a second. He's acting silly. Forget that. It's a screen. And that's exactly what happened. All right, here we go. We're going to make uh, Fisher here with a, with a shout-out. It's going to go out to Dr. Rene Gutierrez, our superintendent, our board of directors. It's going to be Juan Sani Palacio, Dr. Martin Castillo, Jaime Solis, Jaime Chavana, Carmen Gonzalez, Robert Peña, and oh, over his head. The snap goes over his head. It's going to be recovered by the Sabercats on the five-yard line. It's first down. And go from the five. And so, so they're, they're going to with the chains. They're going to drop, drop them chains and finish that shout-out. <laughs> Again, our last board member, Mr. Torres, I almost got to you before we yelled on that play. And you'll see it, Mr. Torres. I'm sure you'll understand why. Not only Mr. Torres, that's a former Edmund Bobcat, a former <laughs> teammate of mine. Right. Can you imagine David mm -hmm. Torres, strong safety, Paul Osbury, free safety. Man, the Bobcats were taking care of business back in the day. <laughs> David Torres, I know you do a great job for the board. I know the city, we're so glad to have you here. You're a good guy. You're a good friend. I'm so we're so lucky to have you on the board. You do a tremendous service, as well as the rest of the board. And you too, Dr. Gutierrez, do a tremendous service for this town and for this coaching. Thank you very much. All right, here we go. It's going to be 5:38 left in the third quarter, and quickly the Silver Guys are looking at putting up 14 points quickly in the third quarter, just like that. All right, here we go. It's going to be a dive up the gut. He's got he's got a man to break, but he does not. Great job by the defense. Great job. Uh, <clears throat> excuse me, by Mr. Uh, Tadeo Tovar to attack from the outside in. In other words, Donut did not let him get outside. Great defensive And effort. we talk about that a lot, a lot, ladies and gentlemen. We have an official timeout on the field, and I believe number nine will have to step out at least for one more play, and that is on the Husky side before he comes back in. We have an official timeout, so it's going to stop the clock with 520. And we talked about momentum, ladies and gentlemen, and what Paul Mann, I'm talking about, that we talk about it every week, every Thursday and every Friday. It seems like if you get to the outside, advantage to the offense. If you don't, defense did a great job, and they did it there. And after a pickup of one yard only, second and goal from the five-yard line. Here goes Sabercats have two receivers to the right. Ten quarterbacks in the shotgun, Mr. Lopez. He's asking for the ball. Formation goes across. He's going to probably keep it himself. There was nothing doing, don't it? Great job by the defense. Maybe a half yard, maybe to the four and a half. No, they gave him only to the, to the five yard line. Valentin Colunga on the tackle for the Huskies. Great job, young man. Big, big, big third and five coming up for the uh, Sabercats. We'll see what's happened. Ladies and gentlemen, we're under five minutes. Paul, it's been a quick game. Yes, it has. Of course, they're not, they're not airing it up as much. And you know, when we say quick game, uh, the clock is not, not that it necessarily runs any faster or shorter. It's just a matter of how many times does the clock stop. And when the ball is thrown a lot, any incomplete pass stops the clock. And they've just been grinding it out, don't it? Here we go. They got two men very split out on both sides. They're asking for the ball. He gives it to his tailback, but he moved a little bit too soon. Don't it? Another flag. Offense. That's going to be the only first flag, and it's going to be movement against the Sabercats. Uh, do you decline? Or oh, they stop the play. I'm sorry. There's no yes, sir. Declining. I'm yes. sorry. Bad, bad call there by me. But we stop the play. So bring it back five yards. Uh, it's going to be a third and goal again from the 11. Now, ladies and gentlemen, just because we come back more than 10 yards from the goal line doesn't mean 
pick up them chains. We will never yell that. So yes, sir. Here we go. Third and goal from the 11-yard line. All right. They got about 11 yards to go. All right. Coach Alina sees something. He's giving him a signal. Look. Looks like Watt has shifted around as well. Ariola again on the corner, one-on-one. -on -one. I don't know. He's the way he split out. There it is. He's going to throw it. He's going to get it. Go up and get it. He. Great attempt. Great attempt. This yeah. time the pass should have been a little further, but Michael Ariola tried yeah. his best athletic uh, uh, ability there by trying to go over the defender, yep. and he almost came up with a great play, ladies and gentlemen. Robert Gonzalez on the defensive play for the Huskies. Good job. Kicking team coming into the field. It'll be, uh, let's see, the team will be set up at about the, call it the 18. Their 28-yard field goal. 28-yard field goal. You're right there, Paul. We'll wait to see what's going to happen. Paul's going to take us to the play once again. 4-11. An ankle deep pass. It'll stop the clock. It is still Sabercats 7. Huskies 3. Raymond Partida on the kick. Good snap. Good hold. It was blocked. It, someone got a hand on it. And he missed it left. Someone came in from the left side. Got, got a hand on the ball, don't it? Yeah, and it was a hard kick. Good kick. It started off good, but when they tipped it, it sent it to the far side of the field. To the Here's the replay. Catch TV. Look at him coming in from the left side. Looks like someone came up the middle, don't it? Yeah. Again, here, here we go. Play. Right. Uh, no, don't it. You know what? I got to call it from a technique-wise viewpoint. If you could, if we could see that replay one more time, guys. They got just a little bit of time. Maybe one more time. Oh, that's all right. That's all right. The kicker, a little, a little. Look at him. Look up too soon. He stared up. When you look up too soon, you hook the kick. Here we go. First Great job, Cash TV. The 20-yard line. He gets a ball up the middle. He's gonna break it outside. He's got one man to beat, and he does make that tackle. Getting back to that play, uh, don't know what happened with a kicker. And anything you do, if you. Oh, the sideline. Another flag on the far side of the field. And again, ladies and gentlemen, we'll wait and see what the call is. It seems to me it's going to be something on the on the face mask, on the helmet. You cannot grab it from the helmet. I'll wait and see what the call is going to be. But, again, those coaches are on that rep. And that's why, I mean, it, it's a tough you job. You know the deal. When it's you're a tough <laughs> job when you got those coaches right on your back for the whole night. Here comes the call. It's going to be personal face mask against the Sabercats. We Turn those 15 yards that you gave us a while ago. Oh Here it goes boy. back the other way. It didn't hurt them on those 15 yards because we ended up missing the field goal. But we'll see what effect it's going to take against them. So one more time after the first down, we're going to move those chains. chains. And then after the personal foul, we're going to move, move those, those chains. chains. One more time. He picked up 15 and another 15 quickly, 30 yards. So very quickly, Paul. There going to be at midfield first and 10 50 yards to go very costly mistake and of course I, you know there's not a player coached in america where they're taught please grab this face mask sometimes they just do it in the in the mess of bodies but it's the, that call is made out of protection to to prevent a player from having a head twisted or whatever all right here we go it's going to be first and 10 we're down to under four minutes to play in the third quarter Sabre cast looking at one receiver left one on the right he's gonna hand the ball to his, to his fullback he's met immediately the ball is out the ball is loose Who's going to get it? Who wants it? It's going to be Husky Bond, but they're going to lose a total of 12 yards on the play. Maybe we get a replay on that. Somebody came through the line like a cannon, like a cannonball shot out of a it is. cannon. Here it is. Boom. Bam. Boom. Right there. That is. <laughs> no, oh, I can't get a number. We'll get a number. 70. 75. 78. 78. Rico Alfaro. You. I mean, you must have heard the play, the play call, young man, because you, you moved before the center did. <laughs> so Props much for those 15. We brought him back 12. Yes, sir. Second and a Brewster. Here we go. Two receivers left. One on the right. It's going to be a play action pass. He does have time. He may want to throw it. He does. It's and intercepted. Picked off. Is that number 14? It is 14. <laughs> No need to have to worry about giving you a shout-out, young man. You are giving yourself your own shout-out tonight. Great play. He read it. He went back on the play. He read it. He saw the pass coming, went up in the air, and got it, and intercepted. So much for missing that field goal now. I yes, feel sir. good. You got to get Look at the replay, ladies and gentlemen. Momentum shifting so quick here, Paul. Yes. Good job. By him, the drop back in coverage. Again, the play-action pass affected the left side of the defense. It did not affect the right side. So John Trevino was able to drop back into coverage. He had nothing better to do than to drop back in coverage. Quarterback did not expect him to be there. John makes the catch. Hey, Grandpa. Hey, Dad. You wanted a shout out? There it is. From your son to you. Saber catch. Two receiver left. Two receiver to the right. You can see on your screen. He's in the shotgun. He's going to give it to him. to dive up the middle. He's going to break outside. Save. He's one block feet. The 20. Oh, it may be. That's usually holding, don't it, on that. that a that. lot of holding. There's two flags on the field. Los dos holding. Holding times two. Can they? No, it's just one no, holding. No, no, no. One holding? Yes. Make Not up, two holdings. Make up my mind. Which okay. one do you want? Here All we right. go. Maybe from the spot of the foul. 
Oh, chop, oh, chop block. block. And Donut, you as a referee, and I know this very well, can you please explain to the viewers, what does that mean? Did that mean they hit him with a club in the leg or something? What does a chop block mean, Donut? Chop block means that you, you're ignited with somebody on top. Me and you are, are hooked on Okay, top. like two guys are, are going at it. Two guys are going at it. I'm blocking you, and uh, one of my teammates comes and just chops oh, you down on the bottom. Oh, you're right, Donut. And I, you know what? That's done out of safety because players are vulnerable. They're busy dealing with a guy in the front of their face. And if so, for someone to come and chop them in the legs, they're not ready for it. They cannot defend themselves. No. And, again, that call is made purely and wholly out of safety for the kids. Great job by UL, UIL, whoever the powers are to be to come up with that, that call. Yeah, and, again, it's well, this, you brought it up so big, Paul, there, and the word is correct, the safety of the kids. Safety. This guy is, is he's just key on me and you looking at each other eye per eye, and we're going at it, and all of a sudden somebody comes from the blind side. Yeah, he's defenseless. Takes you out. There's no, there's no I mean, there's no – that's a great edit. You know, Paul, that call, I mean, I think it came out when I was in the RGB chapter to where it's not that old. You okay. Know? Yeah, but it's probably about 10, 15. Yeah, somewhere around yeah. there. That enough. Don't go any further. All right. <laughs> <laughs> Sabercats got two receivers left and two to the right. Looks like it's going to be a dive. Quarterback's going to keep it to the left. He just turned inside, and he got what he could, don't he? He probably brought it back to where they were. The line of scrimmage a minute ago. It was first and 17. Picked up eight. Call it. A second and nine, great run, great pickup. Let's get, we don't need to get it all at once, but let's just get some of it back. Good run by Lopez. Guess, guess, I was just looking at the scoreboard ball, and look what you got behind there. Bunch of kids playing football under the lights. I see them on, on the a field. baseball field. Well, I mean, that's got. Hey, that's that's what good for the community. That's where it starts. Like you say, hey, when I go for a bomb, yeah, no yeah you see that telephone pole to the right, right there. <laughs> there we go, three words there to light. He's going to be a quarterback keeper. He has to get outside. Great job by the defense. Tremendous job. Again, we talk about this. What happened on that defensive play is the outside linebacker, or the defensive end, attacked from the outside end on it and made him go inside. Give me a number. Give me a name on number 77 for the Sabercats, Paul. Yes, sir. These, these kids are playing their heart out. Of it. And he knows. Jacob Camacho working what? hard for your Sabercats. Mr. Camacho just knows he needed one more block to spring him out to the outside, and he just couldn't get it get it done. Even though he's on the far side of the field, I guess, what do you call it? That, they pulled They, they pulled, pulled the left pulled. guard and the left tackle. All right, that's what it was. He missed his pull block, but uh, he came very close to getting it. Anyway, they picked up three yards to so call it third and six coming up for the Sabercats. Here we go. Lopez asking for the ball. He gives it to the tailback. He goes up the middle. He makes a nifty move. He is oh. met. He ran into a brick. Wow, but that was after uh, after a five-yard game. Yeah, I thought I was, was going to say Ooh, one more I hope time. he knows where he is. Oh, Gennaro, I hope you know it is Thursday night. And, and ladies and gentlemen, that was a hit. And, and I hope he does know. And I think he's going to stay in the game. We'll wait and see. Here we go. Fourth down again, Pablo, and they're going for it. Fourth and two, ladies and gentlemen. Two receivers left. Two receivers to the right. Quarterback's in shotgun. Oh, Salinas likes what he sees. Oh, he's giving him the signal. I mean, stay with the call. I'll give you all that again. Once on one here in the corner. It's going to be a run up the middle. He gives it to fullback. He may. It depends on the spot. It looks like it's a Vela spot. That's going to be a first down. And you he's know still, what we're he's still going even though it's been stopped. But what does it say on our front, our front, the front of our shirts, don't it? It says, move those chains. So one more. Hey, we're making a call a little early, but let's just hope we're going to You want to bet some nachos? No, 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 no. Uh, I learned. I learned. Sure. I, learned. I learned quickly from this. Yes, sir. I learned quickly. And, of course, you're closer to the chain. I mean, to the mark than me. That's why you find the beauty. Donut, let me give a little shout-out while they're moving those chains. A little shout-out to Dolly, a very special lady of mine. Just wanted to tell you, Dolly, uh, everything is safe. Everything's well. I got your back. When we are together, we are the strongest. I'll always have your back. Uh, and you can always count on that. Thank you for listening on ValleyCenter.com. So first and 10, bring it up to the 33-yard line of the Huskies. Here That's going to be a reverse. Oh, he He's got some room. He's got oh, one. Oh, yeah, he's going to. Oh, yeah, oh, you oh, saw it. We all oh, saw it. There's oh, about 17 oh, flags. Even the, you know, even the, the player threw their own flags. It was definitely holding. Yeah, and again, and that, number, that play's got to work to where you, you just got to take him out. Don't let him stay in the play. And well, Donna, you're right. And, and I, I, I got to tell you what you're talking about is there is it by design. Certainly coaches know what they're doing, but what you, a, a good idea would be to have that receiver just run for a bomb. Yeah. The secondary guy has to yeah, cover you, yeah, and, take him as far and as he will be blocked by virtue of running with you. Uh, you know, we don't know what Cobb. Maybe, maybe he was going to do that. Maybe the secondary guy blitzed. We don't know what happened. But I'll tell you what. Bottom line was, the, the, all he needed was one block, and the SaberCat guy. You, you can't do that. He can't grab his jersey. Yep. First and 15. After having a first and 10 at the 33-yard line, he's going to bring him back, all the way back to the 43-yard line. So call it 
first and Brewster. 20 coming up. We're going there. We're going to call it first. What? And Las Milpas. Las, oh, mira, Las Milpas. Las Milpas. Vamos para el otro lado, Pablo. Here the we go. The other side, brother. The other corner. All right. First and 20 coming up. Uh, we got under 23 seconds left, so maybe they're not going to want to play. Anyway. Paul. Yes, sir. This quarter went so quick. They are. They're going to let we, it run we down. Got, to we got seven it. points for the Sabercats, yes. but we only picked up one first down each. That's that, all the stats I got. Yes, right. It, it is a defensive grind, and as a coach, you tell your defense, bend, but don't break. In other words, give them two yards, give them three yards, give them two yards, but don't give them 91. <laughs> and, of course, if you're Gala, you're saying, let's run for 91. Uh, but a big play, that hurts. That hurts if you're the other team that's really helped if you're Gala. That's what happened, don't it? A big play. And that was by design. Great job by Salinas to see the... Uh, the vulnerability of the defense on that particular play. Great job. So after third quarter of play, it's going to be the Saber Cats touching the ball for the third time. They touched the ball three times. They managed to put seven points on the board. They only got one first down. Don't it? Who's keeping these stats for you? This is outstanding. Is there somebody else somewhere? No, no, no. We're just... We, 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 you know what? We're doing, I'm going to give credit where credit is due. I, I wrote this that little... Uh, well, I better not. You know what? We, I'm keeping the stats. No, yeah, I, tell I, no, I, I'm going to tell everybody, don't it? Donut is not only announcing and giving shout outs to the school board, he's also keeping these meticulous statistics. <laughs> hey, Donut, you are a true professional. BB Alonso, thank you for your help. I'm going to give credit where credit is yeah, due. BB Alonso brother. came out with a sheet for me. Oh, you got it. And he, yeah. goes, he goes, Donut, what's that? I said, well, I keep the stats. We're going to figure out something for you. So, Steve Alonso, shout out going out to you, buddy. And I'm going to I'm gonna, I'm gonna have a hear, hear this shout out to you tomorrow if we can during computer. So, uh, Steve Alonso, thank you very much. This sheet you did for me is working outstanding so after three quarters of play the in the third quarter the Sabercats set the ball three times they picked up one first down they scored seven points they got flagged twice for 25 yards Cano and Lopez in the backfield he's gonna throw it he's got a man open he makes a grab there is a flag though it's probably on someone on the offensive line don't it it usually results in a holding by the O-line where that particular flag was thrown and it was a spot he threw it in a particular spot in a particular area we're first and 20 already as it is first and Las Milpas already don't tell me it's going to be first and sunny season. <laughs> no, first and uh, what is it? They're moving him back, don't it? Yeah. First and Fal Furious? <laughs> first and the checkpoint. <laughs> we'll go that far. It's going to be, it was first and 20, ladies and gentlemen. And, and Paul, this game has gotten a little sloppy. Is yes, it, sir. What, what do you think is going on? Well, you know, it's, it's probably desperation on both sides. You know, of course, Sabercats are winning seven to three. You 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 can see a sense of desperation. Not not that they're can, not that they're quitting, but you know, both sides are fighting. And they're fighting so hard for each other. They just want to do all that extra. And you know, you know the referees. You know, every certain referee is watching a certain area. You know, and so. Oh, that was it, it brought him back. That's why I went all the way to the checkpoint, don't it? Fifteen. So we have a first. Right. Count it up. Add it up. Add it first up. and thirty-five. Thirty. The is there a, does Coach Salinas have a 35-yard play in his, in his playbook? We're going to find out because uh, all you got to do is just get a few at a time. I'm not saying you have to get all of them in this play, but here we go. They're spread out. Sabercats got two receivers to the right and basically two to the left if you count that wing right there. Quarterback to the shotgun. It's going to be a pass. He's going to pump fake, but he's not open. He's being flustered. He's being a beast. If, if it was almost a sack. He, call it a two-yard two yard gain. Two-yard gain, so it's going to be... Second and third. Now, Donut, even though I saw it, can you tell the viewers, why did the quarterback act like he was about to throw it? Like he just wasn't in the mood to throw it? Why did he do that? Call it maybe like a, uh, a coverage sack or a coverage play there? Oh, well, what I, well, you're right about that. That's a coverage sack, Donut, because the secondary covered it. The reason the quarterback looked like he was pretending to throw it once was he, he, he had the receiver pretend like it was a short pass, hoping to draw the secondary up, and they were not fooled. You're right about that, Donut. It was a coverage sack. There we go. Second and 33 coming up with the Sabercats. We're down to under 11 minutes left in the ballgame. Quarterback does a play-action pass. He's going to he's gonna throw. He may scramble. He launches it deep. Can he get him in the hands? He makes an outstanding catch. That is how you go. You know who that is, don't it? I'll let you. Michael Aguilola on the catch. And Michael, I'm, I'm serious, Michael. Uh, and I hope you get to catch see Catch of the day. That's a catch. That's a catch. You want to go? Da -da -da. 
Down and up. Yes. <laughs> and play number 10 down in Edinburgh, Texas. <laughs> Michael, I told you, son, we would call your name one of these years. And this is when he was in fifth grade. Bro. I told him. Well, I mean, he, he got into a little trouble, but it's nothing, nothing major. Just Looks like he figured great. it out. Yeah, he did. Good, great catch right there. So one more time. Move, Move those chains. Two receivers right, two receivers on the left. He's looking for the ball. It's going to be dive up the middle. He gives to his fullback. He jukes and jives. He gets what he can. <laughs> a great another another run by Gennaro Cavazos. Yeah, make up, he took up, up to six yards on that play, ball. So it's going to be a second and four coming up. Ladies and gentlemen, we're under ten and a half left in this ball game, and the SaberCats are knocking on the door. Yes, sir. They're in the red zone. A little quick, a no huddle. You got Lopez at the helm asking for the ball. They get it. They get some staff. Eight, plenty of time on the play clock. They get a little instructions from Coach Salinas. He saw something. It's going to be a sweep to the right. He's going to, he gets, the defense turned it back inside. But he's got some room in the middle, and he breaks it, and it's touchdown, Sabercats. So quickly they only pick up one first down on this second time they touch the ball. First time they touch it in the fourth quarter. It's been all Sabercats in the second half, ladies and gentlemen. They've he's got out of gas, 13 unanswered points, and we're waiting for number 14 yet to come. We'll wait and see with 10 3 left. It is now the Robert Bella Sabercats, 13. And the Lincoln Waters Huskies, three point after the come. Paul, take us through it. Raven Partida. Okay, does his routine. Raven Partida, he tells the holder, I'm ready. Holder tells the center to snap it. That's how it works. Snap is up. It's a good hold. Looks like the kick went down the middle. The referees are looking up their arms. And it is good. And it is good. Like Paul Here comes right the replay. There. Look for the tailback to cut it back to the inside. Look for the offensive line. They did not quit blocking. Look at the left get tackle and the left guard, ladies and gentlemen. Watch the left tackle and the left they guard. Pull. Look at that. Look at them absolutely out, man. That's what left the hole right there because they pushed their man back. See number 77. I told you a while ago he was you were right. mad. He was mad. Jacob Camacho. Camacho. Now you did your job, son. And let me tell you what. You're going to be able to see it thanks to Cats TV 17. That's K-A-T-S. Canal 17 for you. And also coming to you with ValleyCenter.com. So once again, with 10-0-3 left in the ball game, it is now the Robert Bella Saber Cats 14 and the Lincoln Wadded Huskies 3. Yes. All right, here we go. Yes, sir. Looks like Vela's taking control of this game, grinding it out on the on the again. It was a matter of adjustments, don't it? I mean, it is what it is. So we're giving advantage, Saber Cats on adjustments. Yes, sir. I'm calling it adjustments on a on a grind like this on a close game. You have coaches go in at halftime, they argue it out, they draw it up on the board. Well, we should try this, coach. Let's start doing this. Start doing that. And he, it's clear, it's clear to me that Vela has made the better adjustments. And so they saw something, some more vulnerability on the defensive line, and they are attacking uh, that particular area. It looks like the right side because their right guard and tackle, a double team, their defensive line, and pushed him out of the screen. Paul. Yes, sir. It was first and 35. It was first and checkpoint. Quickly, they got checked, but they did good. Here we go. Kick yeah. off. <laughs> it's a very high kick down the middle. Very returnable. He receives it on the hash. He's right come to the middle. He's got some room down the middle. He could break it outside. One man to beat, and he grabbed. Ooh, hello. I mean, he's still he's still alive. That's a legal hit. Is he tying it? This is like a tie down on that bull rider. Yeah, that was Philip Pinto. Good job. Way to hang out on the ball. That's a very that's a that's a scary thing to do. Return the ball on the uh, kickoff. Yeah, here we go. It's going to be a set it up at the uh, we'll call it the 33 yard line. So they have uh, 67 yards to go, and again. The way this game is going, yes, sir. you want to do something, Paul, because if not, you might not have much time to score twice the way the Sabercats are running the clock. Yes, looks like Lincoln means the Huskies are taken out of the comfort zone. means they're going to have to start airing it up. Uh, and so that leaves yourself vulnerable. There we go. Two receivers left. Two receivers right. If you're the Sabercats, they have adjusted. They're in a cover three. Look for the uh, three safeties to be uh, covering the deep pass. They're going to decide to run it. There's nothing doing on that one, don't it? Even though it looks like they're, uh, again, that cover three means the strong safety is up. It's almost like an additional linebacker. And they decide to run, and they'll know where to go. One yard. Pick up of only one yard, and the best thing for the safety cats, and not good for the Huskies, is run the that running, clock. So it's second and nine coming out there at the 34-yard line. Ball, take us to it. Two receivers left. Two receivers to the right. Huskies are asking for the ball. It's going to be a pass. It's a quick pass up the middle. Overthrown. And he better have overthrown it. 
because you know who's there. Do I got to say his name? Number five. John, John Trevino. Trevino. John Trevino was below, and number five was in the back. Yes, sir. If he doesn't know what throw it, it's John. Yes, sir. And if he throw it, throws a little bit more, it's number five. You got that right, Jordan. Yeah, it was big coverage. So stop the clock with 921 left in this ball game. It is still the Robert Vela Center Cats 14. The Lincoln Waters Huskies 3. Here we go. Quick huddle. It does the Saber Cats are looking at three receivers to the right and one to the left. Quarterback's icing for the ball. It's up. It's going to be a pass. He's being. He's going to be pressured. He's going to scramble. He's got nowhere to go. Oh. He breaks up the middle. He's got some room. He breaks outside. He's going to gain a good. That's going to be a first down, don't it? That's, that's, who ran him out? That's, who ran him out? Yeah, John Trevino said, you better get out of one down, boy. Finally, he did, but until after he picked up a first down. So one more time for them, we're going to move those chains. And quickly, they're inside Sabercat territory. That is at the 49 yard line. Great job by the quarterback. That's not a design. That was At least it did not show to be a design scramble. He just got what he got. And props to him. Good job, Edward Garcia. Great job. Continue the fight for your Huskies, for your team. Great job. Two receivers left. Two receivers right. Snap is up. He's going to give it to his fullback. The quarterback's going to keep it himself. He's breaking outside. He's got some room. Shoe string tackle. Great effort by Adam Barajas. One more time, Paul. Let's move those chains. All right, Paul, take a seat right here. It's going to be 9.03 left. They'll set up the chains, and they'll run the clock one more time. We've got 9.03 left in the ballgame. Great job. Great job by the Lincoln. Uh, great job designed by the quarterback to continue to make a very long play action. Uh, to fake that particular run it was drew in the defense toward the running back and of course the quarterback pulled it out the last second it was either either by design or just nothing but a tremendous physical effort by the quarterback either way it was a good play for for lincoln that's going to be a dive up the middle he's going to run up the middle he's got a little bit of room that's a good gain of about three or four good effort yards to drive bring up a second and six martin out. diaz and the the only good thing for the Sabercats, ladies and gentlemen, is we're running the clock before this play gets off. Gets off. Excuse me there. We're going to be under eight minutes and 25 seconds for sure left. Yeah, yes, sir. Like they're going to break the huddle. The Sabercats are looking at two receivers to the right and two receivers to the left. We're going to call that double twins. And for us coaches speak, here we go. Quarterback is surveying the situation. He's, he's going to ask for the ball. That is Edward Garcia at the helm. They're blitzing. And it looks like they timed it just right. They timed it right. They blitzed right out the middle because that's where the quarterback was going to run. Nowhere to go. One yard gain, don't it? Pick up one and one yard. Big third and five coming up for the Husky. Well, yes, sir. Yeah, something in my mind that they just went out. Oh, as a coach, you're wondering now how they're moving the ball so quickly, so nicely. But it's like a hurry up offense. Yes, sir. Why don't you do that at the beginning of the game as a coach? Well, if there's a sense of urgency, of course, uh, at the beginning of the game, there are advantages and disadvantages of doing that. Uh, right now, the Huskies are taken out of their game plan. This is not what they're accustomed to doing later because they weren't doing it earlier. That means not what they do. So it looks like Vela's in control of this game. They're dictating what the Huskies, in fact, are doing on offense. He's got time. He's got a man open in the flats. He hits him. He makes a move. He's going to be tackled on the 18. There's that flats. He's vulnerable again, don't it? So one more time. Move those chains. And Paul, I'm going I'm to call this. If we get a replay, I'm going to show you. Yes, sir. get a replay quickly while they move the chains. There was a, an obvious holding bat there that wasn't called. And I just, you know. Uh, you again, have to, I know you're a, a former look, head referee, don't they, they do their job. And, again, hats off to you guys. You all are doing a good job tonight. Here we go. First and 10 one more time. They're at the 18-yard line. Be We're under 7.15 left. Bellas looking at double twins. It's going to be some sort of run up the middle. He's going to give it to his fullback. Nowhere to go, but he stays alive. He bounces it outside. And there's another flag on the play. And it's going to be holding. I can almost guarantee it. I'm not, I'm not going to guarantee it, but I can almost guarantee it's going to be holding. I'm not going to bet against you because <laughs> yeah, I agree. Because you already won. Here it goes. There it is. Holding against the Huskies. Bring them back 10 yards. It's going to be a second and 20 coming up. So once again, uh, they're, they get into the red zone. They're, they look promising for a score, and now they come back 10. Move so back. call it first and 20 coming up. Ladies and gentlemen, we're down to seven. 07 left in this ball game. We still have a good one here, ladies and gentlemen. It is Robert Bella, Sabercats 14, and the Lincoln Waters Huskies 3. Huskies are not out of it. They're still driving, of course. That, that penalty really hurt, but they at least they have a first down. So the Huskies, there's no quit in the Huskies. They have found they found a little bit of running daylight. Let's see if they continue with that play where the quarterback continues to do the read option where he tried to potentially hand it to his fullback, and he may or may not keep it himself. Two receivers left, two to the right. It's going to be a pass. He's going to go up down the sideline. If he hits him, he's got him open. Wow, that's a great play, don't it? It was some good coverage. 
Uh, it was just good on good. It was a decent throw, but it had a little bit too much mustard on the ball. Yeah, yeah I mean, he put some zip on that ball. I mean, mustard, is, he had a lot on that pass. Yes, I don't mean it was a hot dog. Really. No, you already ate. I don't think you're talking food right now. Mustard. You never know with Paul. So it's going to be, call it a second and 20 coming up. And again, the only good thing going for the Huskies is the clock is being stopped. Uh, on every incomplete pass. Here we go. First, second, and 20 coming up there at the 29 yard line. All right. In there, an effort to save some time. We got twins left, twins right. Quarterback's in the shotgun. He's surveying the situation. And it looks like they're lining up. They're going to be a run up the middle. He gives it to his fullback up the gut. He breaks a move. He gets outside. He's on the 20. One more man to beat. And they, they tackle him out at the 15, don't it? Yep. He got back about a good 10 yards on that play. And, and here comes a flag. A flag, a dead ball foul. That's going to have means it's going to happen. It's going to be marked off at the end of the play. We don't know what direction they're going to go, ladies and gentlemen. There we go. He picked up 10 yards. They needed 20. He picked up 10 or 11. Call it even 12 yards. Looks like the Sabre Cats are upset. Uh, we'll wait what the call is going to be because if it's going to be against the Sabre Cats, believe me, ladies, it's going to put them halfway down. And the worst thing about it, not only are they going to move the chains, it's going to give them an automatic first down. And a lot of times, oh, it's going to be wait, uh -oh. on both sides. On both sides. Offset okay. the penalties. They offset. The ball was dead. Give them the 12 yards they picked up. So they call it a third, and I'm going to call it a third and eight maybe coming up. Here we go. We're going to spot the ball. We're under seven minutes to play, ladies and gentlemen. And it it's still Robert Bell, Sabre Cats 14, and the La, uh, Lincoln Waters Huskies. Three. Yes, and ladies and gentlemen, obviously there was a penalty. Offsetting means it happened to both sides. That means it, it didn't exist, but it happened after the play. They're giving credit for the yards. Third and about six, maybe seven, six and a half. The uh, you know, Bell is looking at three receivers to the right, one receiver to the left. To the I'm sorry, one to the right, three to the left. It's going to be a pass. He's going to throw it to the corner. You can see that a mile away. If he catches it, he's there. Great defensive effort. That is how you play it. Yep. Jared Gracia. And he had that covered like a blanket on a cold pair of feet. It looked like it was going to happen. It didn't happen at the end by the good defensive play there. So call it a fourth and six coming up. Paul. Yes, sir. You need 11. You get three. You know what? Of course, we're armchair uh, donut. I, I tell you right now, I would take three. I mean, you know, we can all we can armchair quarterback to the cows come home. It, 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 I would take three, but it looks like Quadras has confidence. That's what it has. They have confidence in their kids. Don't you can look at it any other way. You can't look at it any other way than that confidence. Two receivers left. To the right. They're going to blitz. He's got time. He has a man opening the flats. Oh, again, Paul. I wish you could see Paul's face, ladies uh, and gentlemen. Uh, <laughs> it's scary, but he had him. The play was there. Great mm. call by the coach. And again, Paul, I'm going to try to try what you're saying again and again and again because, ladies and gentlemen. Are you going to say again and again? <laughs> gets, Go for it, don't it? It gets kind of frustrated because, you know what, as a coach, you want to put these kids in a position to win. And what we've seen in the year 2013 for the high school football here in Edinburgh, the coaches have done that. Yes, they have. Both sides of yes. the field yes. have put these kids in a position to win their game. And hats off goes to the La Jolla coaches on that call. And like you said, believing and having the confidence of doing it. Nevertheless, they came short, so turn the ball over on down. Two receiver left, two receiver right. He's going to give it to his fullback up the middle. He's got nowhere to go, but he's hanging on the ball with both hands. He bounces it out. He's still alive. Call that a first down, don't it? Move those chains and run the clock. And another oh. flag. Here comes the flag. It's obviously post-possession, which means it happened after the play was over. So we're going to see what happens. After we move those changes. Yeah, yeah, the change have been moved. We're not going to And we made it. the call. We can't call it's it. It's on our shirts. It's on our shirts. So here we go. Wait for the call. And I know it's going to be uh, unsportsmanlike conduct. But who against? Or are you going to offset them again? And, and this thing's got to stop, though, Paul. That's why the you referees. Stop you know it as a referee, don't you? You've got to stop offsetting. Offsetting. Yeah. Hey, you make the call, you get rid of some kids, because if not, it's going to get ugly, because we still got six minutes and 36, 30 seconds left in this game. So either you start getting rid of some kids, or you start calling it on a certain uh, side of the field, because this offsetting, if you're not doing it's got no, no, no Don't it. For it. You know, great call, certainly as a former referee, and I can tell you this, ladies and gentlemen, when you watch the NFL, you're going to see, instead of offsetting, you're going to see a lot more of a particular player being called for unsportsmanlike conduct, because someone needs to pay the price. You cannot have them offsetting, because everybody gets away with it. Someone's going to pay the first hit, the first word, the second hit, the second word. It looks like it was gone. It went against Vela. And the referees are trying to keep control of the game. You see Coach Salinas arguing his point. I think he's going to lose that, don't it? Well, the thing is, what he's arguing is they haven't moved the chains. 
Yes. First of all, it should have it been should be first and ten, first and about ten yes from the from the eleven from the from the uh, I'm sorry the sixteen yard line. Now the play was over. We throw a flag. So from the from, from the sixteen. Now I'm not sure if we understand what's going on, ladies and gentlemen. I'm sorry, I, I missed that. Let's see, we we're gonna get another call, but. I, I, I missed it. Here it goes. There it is. There we go. Coach Salinas argued his call. What he's, Coach Salinas was saying was, hey, we got the first down yeah, it's already. Down. Now, now they move the chain. Okay, yes. now we go. Okay, it was a first down play. There you go. And then take me back 15. Now it's first and 10 once again. Coach Salinas fighting for the Bella Saber catch. you got to appreciate having a coach like that that's going to go out there and lay his heart on the line for his school and for his kids. Great job, Coach. So it's going to be first and 10 at the 13-yard line for the Sabercats. We're under 6 minutes and 25 seconds. It's going to be a run up the middle. He gets to his fullback. He's going to break it outside. There's nowhere to go. He cuts it back to the right. He does have room if he can get outside. Oh, he turns it inside. He's still on his feet. I'll tell you what, ladies and gentlemen, it's going to be a loss of three, but he must have ran about 40 yards. <laughs> You're killing me, Paul. Uh, we're calling a loss of three seconds and 13 coming up. He did run for about 35, 40 Cavazos yards. gets up gingerly. Like, like Paul says, so uh, we're under six minutes left, though. That's the only good thing going for the Sabercats right now on this last possession. It's been flagged after flagged. They got flagged. For the clock is running, don't it? Another 15. So we're going to call it a flag here, and we're going to call it already 55 yards. Under 15 Indiana seconds left in the play clock. The Sabercats finally get the Martin play in. We're down to 535 and counting. It's still Sabercats 14, Huskies 3. Lopez in the backfield. He goes in formation. They're going to end up with three receivers to the left. It's going to be a pass. He's going to be a quick screen to the right. He's just got to make one block, and he gets that block. In fact, ladies and gentlemen, hang on to the ball. He does, and he rumbles and bumbles. You know who that is. I want you to tell us everybody who it is. He's rumbling and stumbling. Rumbling and stumbling and bumbling. <laughs> and who got that ball, don't it? Michael Agriola picking up one more time the first down. So move those chains and run the clock after they move the chains. Going all the way down to the 26-yard line. A much-needed first down. Getting out of the red zone. Getting out of your own you end zone. You caught it. It is first and 10. Run the clock. We're under 515 and counting. Two receivers left. One to the right. Quarterback in the shot. Lopez in the shotgun. Asking for the ball. Coach Salinas sees something. He just sees a little advantage. I don't see any adjustment by the defense. Looks like Vela's got kind of a slight advantage by virtue of the of the audible. Here we go. It's going to be a, a dive up the middle. I tell you what, that was, it may have, it's going to be a, a, a gain of about two. A great job by the defense. That's a nifty little run by uh, Justin Rivera to come in and, and give uh, to give uh, Gennaro Cavazos the breather. Probably a gain of two. Good job. Hey, Sabre Cats looking good. Looking a good victory number that's going to be three more Please. victories than last year. Yeah, three more. And how many year. more victories than the year before? None, because they didn't exist. Great job. <laughs> so pick up of call it two yards. A little shout out going out to Coach Salas. Coach Salas, thanks for tuning in. Believe me, Coach Salas, we appreciate your words of encouragement every time you tell us we're doing a good job. Shout out going out to Coach Salas. That is the AD for the Longoria Panthers. Quarterback sweep out to the right. And about Coach Salas. Coach Salas, the Bruce Longhorns, will be playing Longoria next week. Uh -oh. Good luck to you, Coach, but I'm sorry. You want to make a call? Uh, Brewster wins. Coach Salas, I'll bet you lunch, buddy. We'll see me tomorrow, Coach. <laughs> we'll see me tomorrow. And again, that's Coach uh, Salas. Did a great job. Once again, former quarterback for the uh, Edward North Cougars took him to an undefeated district championship back in the day, and he does a great job for Longoria. He's their head coach and athletic coordinator out there. The kids are lucky to have him because he is not only a good coach, but he has plenty of experience. All right, here we go, third and one. Big play for the Sabercats. They could put some icing on the cake right there, Paul. Yes, sir. Looks like they're going to fact, going to keep running the ball. He gives it to his fullback. He holds on the ball with both hands. There's going to be a first down and move those chains and run the clock. Well, the clock right after we move the chains. That's what we'll do. So we'll let us first down. Coming up for the, you know what? They only picked up four in the, in the third and the second half. And remember, it was a 91 yard run. No shot I got to Randy Ramirez. Ooh. He was in Kusula when we started. He just got hungry. And he just, <laughs> Randy Ramirez just got home, but he was watching us on his phone. Wow. Randy Ramirez, former quarterback for the Edinburgh North Cougars. Also, he went undefeated, no? Uh, not undefeated, but I believe they were district champs. I'm not sure. Okay. Either way, he is a heck of a quarterback for the Cougars. There's no doubt about that. Here we go. It's definitely going to be a run. He gives it to his fullback. He makes it move up the middle. You notice, ladies and gentlemen, he's hanging on the ball with both hands. Right now, what you want to do is hang on the ball and run the clock. So that's why he's running with both hands. Not that he, not that he can't use his other arm, 
He's being told, you better hang on that ball, young man. Second and six coming up, and the most important thing will be under three minutes left in this ball game when they get this playoff. Justin Rivella on that ball, on that run right there. Great job again Pablo. to hang on the ball. I don't mean to interrupt. Sorry there, Pablo. You do. You run up whenever you want, don't let it? Me, let me tell you what, Pablo. Yes, sir. Two and one. In this you win four. Incredible. You could be in the playoffs. You win five, you're in the playoffs. Incredible. Great job by Coach Salinas. Outstanding. He's got his kids believing. Here we go. The ball, the ball is up. He's going to give it to his fullback. He makes a move, and he drags the pile. Move those chains. chains. One more time, ladies and gentlemen. And run the clock. And <laughs> Another run by Justin Rivella. Looks like Gennaro Cavazos is done for the night. Great job, young man, because you already gained who knows how much yards. I guarantee you it's triple digits. Uh, Justin Rivella coming in, in relief, and hanging on the ball and grinding it out. Yeah. Here we go. It's going to be first and ten. They're running the clock as soon as we get the get the change, change of ball. Run that clock. Here we go. <laughs> run that clock. Make that call. Give me that chair. I come here to donate everything. Everything is a call. <laughs> here we go. First and ten. They're at the 49-yard line. Sabercats got three retrievers to the left and one to the right. Quarterback in the shotgun, as you can see on your screen. Great job, Catch TV. All right. They're thinking about it. They like what they see. It's going to be a run, some sort of run. He's going to give it to the fullback up the middle. Again, hang on to it with both hands. They're just all their goal right now, ladies and gentlemen, is to run the clock. Even though, even though Juarez looks like they have two timeouts, they're not using them yet. You saw that, don't it? You saw it. That is excellent. That's look, coaching. Look, look. We're ready. We're going to count down. We're ready. 15, 13, 12, 10. They like what they see. Yep. 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2. On two seconds, ladies and gentlemen, that is nothing but coaching to grind out the clock and look for him to stay in bounds, by the way. That is coaching. And when I say stay in bounds, in other words, if you run out of bounds, you stop the clock. That's not what you want to do. You'll sacrifice a yard to stay in bounds to keep the clock running. That is all squarely on the shoulder of Coach Salinas. Great job. And pick up seven yards to make it a third and very manageable. Very, very manageable. Kevin Nott, is that right? Kevin Nott, a little shot like went out to you. Joe Bowling. Hey, Lee Chan, where you at? Mr. Chan. Call us. Here we go. Saber Cats, two receivers to the right, one to the left. They're looking at the clock. They're going to let it run down. 14, 13, Change the 12, 11, 10. Give me some nachos. 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3. With three seconds left on the play clock. Great clock management. He breaks outside. He's got one man to beat. He fumbles the ball. They called him down, but it's going to be definitely going to be holding. Two flags. It's clearly holding on the Sabercats. Looks like they had him down. Uh, but that was definitely holding, Donut. I, you can see that up here. But only 43 seconds left on the clock, Donut. 43 seconds left. And again, that, I mean, if they pick up the first down, I mean, I, start, I just take some knees because I don't see them stopping the clock. And yeah, if they do, I'll start singing. Turn out the lights. The party's over. You're going to get flagged one more time. Is that going to be necessary? It yeah. should be, don't it? It's going to be holding. I mean, I could They're be wrong. They're good Selena, so more likely. But now the ball. They're trying to determine where the ball was down. Do you do it from the spot of the Right, spot of the foul. They're working all that out, ladies and gentlemen. The referees do a good job. There's a lot to consider. They've got to be right. So it looks like a spot foul. In other words, where the holding took place, they're going to move it back. So it looks like they're going to they're going to, they're going to give him the first down, don't it? No, no. He's going to be short. Oh, they're going to. Yard. He's going to be short. One okay, yard, so they moved him back. Down. They moved him back. So that's going to make it probably, if they're going to take the penalty, probably now a third and South Park. Third and South. right around the corner, don't it? Hi, Pablo. Right across the field. Third, a third and Edmund Parks and Recreation. Ladies and gentlemen, thank you for <laughs> We're hearing me and Paul all these nights, and again, I hope you all enjoy hearing our game. But uh, we have a blast with friends for over 25 years, and believe me, we love sitting up here and watching the game. Here we go. Third and one coming up for the uh, Sabercats. Paul, they can finish the game right here if they pick up one yard. They're going to run it, ladies and gentlemen. Well, I could be wrong, but I'll tell you what. Look for them to run the ball. Look for them to grind it out. Look for the tailback or the quarterback, whomever. Hang on to both hands and look for them to stay in bounds. One receiver to the left. You can see the formation by yourself. You can see here, they're going to run out the clock. 18, 17, don't know why they're not calling a timeout. 15, 14, 13, they're going to let it run. Oh, 
Well, they outsmarted themselves. They got movement by Sabercats. It's okay, don't it? 27 seconds left. They're gonna, they're gonna, they threw a flag. We're gonna forgive that, but that's a little mental error by the Sabercats because it gives them just, it gives the Husky just a teeny bit of light. Well, the thing is, Paul, we're in the game situation. We didn't have to score twice. You got seconds left in the ball. You still got your timeouts. You don't need them at home, but also you don't need nobody getting hurt. So, yes, sir. I mean, it's going to be a tough call there from the Husky side on the field. We'll wait to what they're going to be. So call it. We're down to 19, 18. You start to play. They shouldn't have. To they're going to run the ball as soon as the play clock winds down. This is the last play of the game, ladies and gentlemen. Okay, Paul. After we do this, you, you are going to take us to some uh, statistics. statistics and again, these are not official. Here's the last play of the game, ladies and gentlemen. He grinds it out and he's fighting and fighting, but the game is. Over. Take us to some stats, Paul, before we say goodnight. I want to take us to some stats. These are the finals for the second half, ladies and gentlemen. And we'll wait and see what happened there, Paul. Great job, Donut. Look for the Sabercats in the second half. They have a total of four possessions. That means the offense had the ball four times. They gained a total of six first downs. That's a good little grinding out. Had five penalties for a total of 65 yards. And the Huskies had the ball only three times and got three first downs. So, in other words, it clearly the Sabercats dominated the second half. They only had one penalty for 15 yards. And the glaring statistic here is six, six first downs. And they grinded out the clock. Props to Coach Salinas. Props to the Sabercats. Excellent job on a victory tonight. All right. So, once again, Paul Osbury, Donald Salinas from Enver, Texas at Enver Cat Stadium. It's the final. Robert Bella, Sabercats, 14. Lincoln Waters. Three in the final. The most important thing is Robert Vela Saber Cats are sitting at two and one. So once again, ladies and gentlemen, Paul Alvarez, notice what saying. Good night. Good night. We hope you enjoyed it.